Hey guys, my name is Sarah and I'm a yoke folk at Farragut Middle School. And today I'm going to be bringing you our talk and I'm going to be talking about how God wants to be friends with us. So I'm going to give you two scenarios. Scenario A is kind of when your parents, your coaches, and your teachers give you a task, give you jobs, give you chores that you have to do or give you exercise you have to do by yourself. They're not, they're not enjoyable. You have to do them by yourself. You can't be talking. You can't be doing anything with them like this is your your teachers and your parents and your coach is giving you something to do and you have to do it. Like it's not, it's, you don't, sometimes you might be liking to do enjoying it, but it's something you can't talk. You can't be listening to music. You have to do it. And it's not, not fun stuff. Um, and then think of your, think of the scenario B where your teachers, your parents and your coaches give you an assignment you have to, or give you tasks. You need to do one, two, three, four, and five, but you can listen to music. You can talk to your friends. You can ask people for help. You can work alongside of somebody with them. You can work with a teammate. You can work with a partner. You can work with another classmate on this assignment. You can work alongside them, guys. That's how God wants our relationship to be with him. He doesn't want us. He doesn't want to give us these lists of tasks that we have to do and say, you need to do these and I'm not going to help you. That's not how God wants our relationship to be, guys. Being a Christian is about doing what God wants us to do, but it's also about being friends with him, guys. It's about having that community of friendships, guys. Think about it this way. Think about in a friendship in real life, guys. Think about how you have a friend that is new to your class, maybe new to your school, maybe new to your teammate. You can be friends with you can be friends with them like on surface level, but until you actually get to know them, until you get to know what they like, what they dislike, what they like to eat, what they don't like to eat, what they like to listen to, what they don't like to listen to, then you're just surface level, for, and then it's just like a surface level, like, hi, how you doing type deal. But once you get to know them, they become your best friends, guys, and that's what God wants with you. That's what God wants with all of us. He wants us to be more than just surface level, us picking up our Bible on at church, reading along with whoever's teaching or reading along with your yoke book, guys. He wants you to pick up his word and get to know him, guys. This tells us all about God and all about everything you ever need to know about him, guys. Um, and I'm going to read you actually something from it. It's going to be John 15, um, 15, um, verses 15 through 16. It says, I no longer call you slaves, guys, because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Now you are my friend since I've told you everything the father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for. Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name, guys. Here it says that Jesus is saying that a relationship should ju go beyond just doing what he asked. Our relationship should just go beyond doing what he asked for, guys. Our relationship to be getting to know him, reading up and opening up their word and getting to know him more, guys. Um, he talks about this type of relationship like a servant and a master. What exactly do you all think a servant does... Um, for his or her master a servant for that does is he does whatever the master asks him guys he does he says yes he does whatever if he says go get his food brings his food to him guys if he says to wash his clothes wash his clothes if he says to make my bed go walk my dog that's what a servant does and sometimes they don't always love their master guys sometimes they don't enjoy spending time with them they don't like doing it because they give them tasks to do and they have to do it that's not what God wants us to do, guys. God wants us to enjoy spending time with him. He wants us to enjoy opening up his word and reading the Bible and enjoy spending time with him. He wants us to have a friendship with him, not just to serve him. Yes, serving him is part of what he tells us to do, but it's not about him just saying, you need to do this list, but you need to actually get to know him, read the Bible, get to know get to know what his likes, get to know what his dislikes are, guys. And something that I like to do is I like to kind of imagine, I have a desk, I'm in my room right now. I have a chair in my desk and I like to imagine God sitting there. And I like to have a conversation with him, guys. God is, I know this sounds weird, but God is just like your friends you have in everyday life, guys. He wants to know you. He knows what you like. He knows what you dislike. He knows what you want and what you need before you even ask for him, guys. Um, so I just pray that um, during this time that we're going through right now, guys, that you would get to know God, that you get to open up your Bible. And if you don't know how to start, ask your yoke folk, text your yoke folk, DM yoke on Instagram and ask them, where do I get started? How can I start with this? Because trust me, guys, it is very, it is a very big book, guys, that open up and even know where to start at. Um, but again, guys, he wants to be friends with you. He wants you to just get open up, open up a book, read and pick a book and start reading it, guys. He just wants to, you to get to know him, guys. Um, he wants us to talk to him and he wants us to learn from him, guys. He wants us to be his friends, not his servants. And so um, I'm just going to pray for us and then we're going to be done. So um, I just want to pray. I want to say, hey, God, I thank you just so much just for um, everybody that's watching this video, guys. 
um, I just pray that um, as we're in this time, God, that you just be with everybody and that um, you would make us be more, make us our relationship with Jesus and God be closer, God, that you would make us have that closer relationship and be closer friends with us, be closer friends with God, guys. And I just pray um, that if we don't know where to start, that you just give us that courage just to ask on where do we start with that relationship with God? Where do we start how to build that friendship with God, guys? And I thank you just so much just for this day and so much just for what you created and for um, making us God. And I pray all these things. You're in some time I pray. Amen. Bye.